Hey everybody, Chandler here for What The Film, yet again with a trailer for you guys. Now today we're going to look at the new and final trailer for Spectre. I was really, really happy with the first couple of trailers that came out for this film. Um, I don't know yet what I feel about the new James Bond film. I know that uh, Daniel Craig said this will not be his last James Bond film if he can help it. So that's cool. I like him as the new Bond. Uh, Skyfall was amazing. That was a great film. So here I'm really excited for Spectre. It's nice to get something nice and classic put into the franchise for all the new people out there who have never seen any of the, the older films or grew up on those. I grew up on a lot of those films. So this is really cool for me to see that sort of stuff. Um, hey, you got Andrew Scott in this film as a kind of unknown character. I mean, it's floating around what he might be. Uh, what role he might serve. Christoph Waltz, of course. Everybody knows Christoph Waltz is too cool for school, and I think that's really true. So, you know, hey, maybe he'll bring a little bit of his Tarantino swagger to Spectre and to the James Bond world. So let's check out this particular Bond trailer and see what they've got cooking for you. So, I don't have my big headphones this time for you guys, uh, but I do have my earbuds, so a more intimate experience for me. Put them in now. And uh, we are going to start the trailer now. This organization, do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. <laughs> Look around you, James. Everything you believed in. A ruin. Why did you come? I came here to kill you. And I thought you came here to die. Well, it's all a matter of perspective. November 6th. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool. Very nice. Now, here are my thoughts on this particular trailer. That was pretty freaking cool. I mean... You have some shots that we've already seen before in the previous trailers. You have that insane helicopter shot of it spinning around. I thought that was really cool. Um, but here we have some extra stuff as well. Buildings falling down and, and people getting just shot left and right, which is what you want in James Bond movie. The action in this movie looks to be intense, really big. I mean, Skyfall had some pretty intense moments as well, but that was a more kind of low-key, intimate story for Bond himself. I mean, apart from... Uh, you know, the, the area of Skyfall, the building itself, getting blown to smithereens, and the poor, wonderful Aston Martin getting destroyed. May she rest in peace. Uh, there wasn't a lot of huge action in that film, which was cool. I liked that kind of element for Skyfall, is how they just kind of like toned it down a little bit and kept it to itself. And in this case, I think it, people are kind of wanting a little bit more of what we know, that kind of over-the-top, wonderful, zany super spy James Bond. I mean, we've already been introduced in the previous trailers to the new Aston Martin, which is probably it's definitely going to be decked out with some cool stuff. I think I saw some flamethrower action in the previous trailers, and that's what we want. We've got a cool queue, we've got a cool car, and now we have Spectre back in the action, and Christoph Waltz right there. I'm going to kill you, Bond. And so, yeah, I think a building falling apart right in front of your eyes is a pretty good piece of action to throw in this film. Now, this particular trailer doesn't really give too much away. This one's just to get you really excited. I mean, it, we're coming up to the film. It says November 6th. That's just a little less than a month away. And, um, I mean, all you have to do now is just make sure that people go, Hey, hey, look, uh, don't forget, James Bond's coming up. I know everybody's really excited for Star Wars, yes! But, uh, so people can get really clouded about, Hey, uh, well, what else is coming out? Well, James Bond is coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Another franchise that's really huge and looks to be just as good as it's been in the last few years. Some people have particular Bonds that they love. Some people can't get over the fact that Sean Connery stopped so many years ago. I loved Connery. He's still my favorite Bond, but I think Daniel Craig's doing a great job. Mendez has done a great job with uh, the work he's done on Bond. and All the directors have done a great job with the new Bond. I'm really, 
really excited for this particular film, for this particular Bond. I love just about everything I've seen from it. I love the camera work, uh, the acting looks to be top notch, the music sounds good, the score, at the very least, sounds good. And I love what I've seen when it comes to the action. Uh, the, the, the femme fatale is also there as well. We're going to have good Bond girls. We're going to have everything. Everything's going to be good Bond, classic Bond. I like it. And I'm going to be very pleased. I, I like when things stay the way they should be. And it looks like that's what they're going to do with Skyfall. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Just put your comments in that comment section. And give us a like if you liked what you saw. And if you didn't like what you saw, well, let me know. Tell me what I can change. Give me some feedback. And please be sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos and to keep this place going. So, guys, that was me. That was Chandler. This is What the Film, and this is yet another trailer review. I'll see you next time with a new trailer. Bye, guys.